to which he is assigned. Firstly, allow me to introduce to you all a brief profile of His Excellency's personality and of his service to the church and thereafter a short history of a diocese and church. His Excellency Archbishop Leopoldo Girelli was born on third. His Excellency Archbishop on behalf of our parish, a symbolic gesture of our love and gratitude to His Excellency Archbishop and all we see to our His Excellency and our Bishop. हमरो यहाँ हमरो पति मारनिया न्यून सो को स्वागत करें थी हम यहाँ बेला भाई कुछ हो रहा हाथ आमला देखी ले रहा सोम थी ना कार्य कर और ये कोई चीज़ मौनी था कृपया आपने आपने आसन रोहन गति नोस आज को पवित्र दिन लाए मध्य नजर रखी
अलग हल्ला कंती कर दिन हो कृपया कर सबेटा साथ इस कार्यक्रम में सहभागिता जमाई विशेषगरी हमी हम आदरणीय अर्थ बिशप लाहुली आशीष लिने खदा महाला लगने कार्यक्रम भी राखे सब को पाल आने रजूबाट निवेदन करना चाहूँ एपोस्टोलिक न्यूज सो टू इंडिया एंड नेपाल एम्बेसिडर अफ वेटिकन सिटी राइट रेबल स्टीफन लेप्चा विशप दाजीलिंग सिक्किम डायसिश रेवेन्ट फादर स्टीफन फर्नांडिस सेक्रेटरी टू आवर न्यूनसिओ फादर डेरेक रेवेन्ट फादर जेराज सिस्टर थेटेडियस रिजनल सुपीरियर अफ मिशनरीज अफ चैरिटी अलॉन्ग विथ हर All sisters present, Sister Shirley, Superior of Holy Cross Convent, Canto, and sisters along with her, present with us, Sri Kiran Rasali Sir, retired Secretary to Government of Sikkim, and a very close friend of ours, distinguished guest, everyone present here, my dear brothers and sisters. Also, our friends from media fraternity, I would like to welcome you all on this auspicious day, especially on behalf of our parish priest and faithful of Saint Thomas Catholic Church, Canto. I, Francis Gura, would like to thank you all for your esteemed presence. Also, would like to welcome you to the capital town of our state, Canto. Also, I would like to extend my warm welcome to Right Reverend Bishop Stephen Richa, Bishop of Darjeeling Sikkim Diocese. Your presence has always been a great blessing for all of us, and especially on this auspicious day, we cordially welcome you, dear Bishop. I, on behalf of our parish priests and faithful from Saint Thomas Catholic Church, Ganto, extend a hearty welcome to our Reverend Father Stephen. Secretary to Nuncio and everyone present out here, and request our parish priest, Reverend Father Gerard, to offer a bouquet to His Excellency Archbishop on behalf of our parish, a symbolic gesture of our love and gratitude to His Excellency Archbishop. Thank you, Father. I now request Regional Sister Superior, Sister Tetegius from Missionaries of Charity to kindly come forward and offer a bouquet to our beloved Bishop. I now request the Sister Superior, Sister Shirley, Holy Cross Convent, Ganto, to offer a bouquet to our Reverend Father Stephen Fernandez, Secretary of His Excellency Archbishop. Thank you, everyone. And now I request Ms. Pranamia Rai. To deliver her welcome speech. Sabalai ji sabalai. May the peace of the Lord be with us all. His Excellency Archbishop Leopoldo Girelli, Apostolic Nuncio to India and Nepal. the envoy of his holiness pope francis ambassador of vatican city right reverend stephen lecture bishop of darjeeling and sikkim diocese 
Reverend Father Stephen Fernandez, Secretary to the Nuncio, Father David Yunjin Rai, Parish Priest of St. Paul's Church, Tadon, and Liaison Officer, Father Derek Disuja, Sister Thetius, Regional Superior, Missionaries of Charity, Sisters, Sister Shirley, Superior, Holy Cross Convent, Mr. Kiran Rasaili, Retired Secretary, Government dignitaries and guests from various departments, members of Catholic Association of Sikkim, religious men and women, consecrated lay people, and my parishioners. It is my unique privilege to introduce and welcome His Excellency Archbishop Leopoldo Girelli, Nuncio to India and Nepal, to our St. Thomas Catholic family. We are aware that a papal nuncio, officially known as an apostolic nuncio, is a diplomat of the Holy See to a state or an international organization, having the rank of an ambassador, usually with the ecclesiastical rank of a titular archbishop. Apostolic nuncio also serves as the liaison between the Holy See and the Roman Catholic Diocese in the nations or regions to which he is assigned. Firstly, allow me to introduce to you all a brief profile of His Excellency's personality and of his service to the church and thereafter a short history of a diocese and church. His Excellency Archbishop Leopoldo Girelli was born on 13th March 1953 in Pertor, Bergamo in Northern Italy's Lombardy region. He was ordained priest at the age of 25 on 17 June 1978 for the Diocese of Bergamo. He holds a doctorate in theology and a master's degree in canon law. His grace entered the diplomatic service of the Holy See on 13 July 1987 and worked in the papal diplomatic missions in Cameroon, New Zealand and the Section for General Affairs of the Vatican Secretariat of State and finally in the Apostolic Nunciature to the United States where he held the rank of a counsellor. When late Pope Benedict XVI appointed him Apostolic Nuncio to Indonesia on 13th April 2006, he also made him an Archbishop, consecrating him on 17 June 2006. Later, on 10th October 2006, he was also appointed Apostolic Nuncio to East Timor. On 13 January 2011, he was appointed Apostolic Nuncio to Singapore, Apostolic Delegate to Malaysia and Brunei, and Non-Residential Pontifical Representative for Vietnam. He was also appointed Nuncio to the Association of South Asian Nations on 18 June 2011. On 13 September 2017, His Holiness Pope Francis appointed him Apostolic Nuncio to Israel and Apostolic Delegate to Jerusalem and Palestine. Two days later, he was appointed Apostolic Nuncio also to Cyprus. His Holiness Pope Francis appointed Archbishop Leopoldo Girelli as the new Apostolic Nuncio to India on 13th March 2021. It is with filial piety that I address words of gratitude to our Holy Father, His Holiness Pope Francis, who appointed you as the Nuncio to India and Nepal, thereby of a peaceful hilly state, Sikkim, nestled in the bosom of the mighty Himalayas. With the coming of the Irish Loreto sisters in 1846, the fate and faith of Darjeeling Hills and its adjoining states was established 
and instilled in people apostolic perfection. And after years of evangelization, expansion and hard work, our Diocese of Darjeeling was founded on 8th August 1962 under the headship of late Bishop Eric Benjamin, the first bishop of the newly erected diocese. The church in Sikkim started as the part of the Tibet mission. It was under the care of the priests of the French foreign missions, mainly Father Descodins, who started his initiative of evangelization in 1858 in Tibet. But the world wasn't kind. They had to face appalling wrath of the Tibetan lamas. With time, between 1865 to 75, an opportunity came knocking at the door of Father Des Godins when Lord Ripon, the then Viceroy of India, who clued up that Sikkim was now open for the Catholic missionaries. The French father's attempt and venturing within the borders of Tibet and Himalayan regions helped them open temporary stations, one being in Petong, part of Kalimpong and very close to the borders of Sikkim. The diligence of the French priest settled when in 1953, Father Leonard Molomu, the first lecture priest, was able to come into Sikkim and open a small school in the Namjibung village in Pakyong, East Sikkim. Thus, the real presence of the Catholic Church was made present in Sikkim after years of groundwork. Gradually, a St. Thomas Catholic Church was erected and named in 1970. The needs and seed of the gospel for the faithful were provided by Father Molomo and the succeeding fathers, and most importantly, late Reverend Father Joseph Kunna until his death in 1997. Today, our church simultaneously also caters to the educational requirement for the children of a society through St. Thomas School and Montessori School run by the Holy Cross Sisters. The state capital, Gantok, today has a vibrant number of ever-growing Christian communities. Currently, under the flagship of Right Reverend Stephen Lecher, who's been the rock stone of a diocese, Parish Priest Reverend Father Gerard Lecture, St. Thomas Catholic Church has approximately 200 families, consists of 15 basic ecclesial community, a parish pastoral council, has a committee for Nari Sun for the mothers and wives, committee for Baba Sun for the husbands and male members, a Catholic Youth Association and holy childhood for the smooth execution of liturgical ministry and community. Your Excellency, ours is also a church that speaks many languages and that has many colors and that for some of us even goes beyond the borders of our state. Our church envisions itself as a Christocentric Catholic Christian community founded on living and personalized faith in Christ, led by competent, committed, and convinced servant leaders for contributing in communion, participation, and mission to establish the kingdom values of God here on earth. It has left no stones unturned in committing to carry on the mission of Christ through new evangelization, faith formation, liturgy, and various services by establishing participatory and self-reliant parishes in the spirit of synodality among laity, religious, and clergy, fostering human communities in the light of Vatican. Today, 
with humility and awe, we give thanks to the extraordinary sacrifice of Jesus Christ, our Savior. We reflect on the brutal pain that he suffered, the scorn that he absorbed, the sins that he bore, this extraordinary gift of salvation that he gave us. These 40 days of Lent, we have tried our best to comprehend the darkness that he endured so that we might receive God's light. And yet, even as we grapple with the sheer enormity of Jesus' sacrifice, we can't lose sight of the fact that the story didn't end on Friday. The story keeps going. Good Friday, that is today, may occupy the throne for a day. But ultimately, it must give way to the triumphant beat of the drums of Easter. Your Grace, today you bring us the presence of the successor of St. Peter himself. I have no hesitation to declare in the name of all present here, of our full collaboration and above all from this place our intercessory prayers for you, for the service you undertake and above all for the Holy Father and for the whole church. The multiformity of this ecclesial life is manifested in the presence of all the faithful who have their roots here. And their presence today bears witness to this. You will be able to become aware of the bond that exists between us when you will meet the parish communities in your visit. Thereby, Your Excellency, with these reflections, I am very happy to welcome you to your first Eucharistic celebration in this church with the clergy and a large number of faithful. And we already feel the closeness of His Holiness, Pope the Francis, whom you represent in this country through your presence and service. On behalf of St. Thomas family, once again, I extend your grace, a cordial and warmest of the warm welcome to this Eucharistic community and family. Welcome Your Excellency and we offer our best wishes. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Pranamia, for all the details provided and Hamro Ati Adonio Archbishop Lai, Dudu Jana Gorira, Jatipani, Hamro Sonstar, Tiamata, Swagat Jonaniso. Representatives from our gifted organization to kindly offer Khadas to His Excellency Archbishop and Right Reverend Bishop. Ama Arupachi, Tiamara Holy Childhood and Youth Party Adonisha. I now request our Kirin sir to kindly offer Khana to His Excellency Archbishop. And also, Mr. Govind to kindly come forward and also Khada to his Excellency. So, we will see what we are going to do with Khada and 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 Khada Representatives from every BEC and come forward and offer Khada to our His Excellency and our Bishop. St. Augustine, St. Blaise, Francis Xavier, Francis Xavier BEC, Holy Trinity BEC, Ignatius Loyola BEC, I'm going to go to the other room and talk to you about what I'm going to do.
Saint Joseph Pichy, Saint Michael B.C. Saint Mary B.C. Saint Paul B.C. Saint Peter, Sacred Heart B.C. Saint Teresa B.C. Vincent de Paul B.C. and Saint James Sadhu B.C. Anya John of the day, I am an idol of the day. Anya John of the day, I am an idol of the day. Tadi boleh masuk lagi kan masih belum lagi. to be distributed among the faithful in remembrance of your visit to Sikkim, especially to St. Thomas Catholic Church here in Gantel. This will be distributed to everyone. मंडली को तरफ बाँटा तो अलग कि भीड़ न वाली हताश न वाली सभी आयोजन नहीं करने वाले चुप सभी जन बीच पर आए दिनों रामी कोई वह यू चेयर पर सुन करने चुप तेज पक्षी तेज पक्षी यू तेरी की यू तेरी की यू करने चुप और जो राले गुज़्ज़ु भाई बने मास्टर बने चुप तो हम ये बीच चेयर बाँटा सुन we extend our warm welcome to you again, His Excellency Archbishop.
Anda mana yang perlu berlaku? Sudah dimulai. Hari ini kita akan berlaku. Kita akan bayar dulu ni. Kita yang berlaku yang mana mana.
So I like the Dharabad. Thank you everyone. Now I invite His Excellency Archbishop Yokoyu Jigri to kindly give us a sis. Apostolic blessings and few words of blessings. Jesus Balai. <laughs> Dear Bishop Stephen, Father Gerard, and Father Derek, Father Francis, and all dear sisters of Missionary of Charity and the Holy Cross sisters, and all of you, dear faithful of St. Thomas Parish in Canto. I'm very pleased and grateful to be here and I thank you for gathering here and receiving me as the Apostolic Nuncio, the representative of Pope Francis in India. And I convey to you his greetings and his blessing. Coming to your beautiful state seeking I heard that it is a green state that means there is no pollution there is a clear air, air. and uh, I can tell you I experienced already the beauty uh, of see the greenery of uh, your beautiful state I spent uh, two days uh, in uh, Place. Nanchi. 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 and then today I'm here in Gantok with you. And I learned also that uh, your state is uh, an organic state. Okay. state. Organic state means that uh, there is no genetic manipulation. And tea are organic. <laughs> and also the food is organic. And I appreciate it. I enjoyed uh, your food, uh, your meal, and uh, your cuisine here. So you are uh, really in a beautiful state. But being uh, green, being organic, is not just a matter of environment. It's also a matter of the spirit. It's a matter of your spirit. That should be green, means pure, uh, from every evil and should be also organic, should be uh, a real, original, as your faith, uh, the, in Catholic, the Catholic faith, Catholic Church, the faith in Jesus Christ, should be an original faith in terms of that not manipulated from any other uh, thinking or belief. So you are faithful to your faith in the Catholic Church. And I'm very pleased to share with you that uh, I find here a very thriving, a very vibrant uh, Catholic communities. Uh, uh, Madame Pranama, Pranam, you very well uh, uh, presented also the history of the church in Sikkim. And uh, I learned from you how the parish of St. Thomas here in Cantor is so vibrant, full of activities. And actually I see there are many uh, associations here present, from young people, also adults, women, men. And this means that you are really committed in your faith grateful for that and I encourage you to be always committed as, uh, in your faith and in the life of the church especially in the life of the, your community in St. Thomas Parish. You mention also synodality, uh, communion, participation, mission, that is what Pope Francis uh, wants for us especially in, in these days, in these years where we are celebrating the synod. So, 
very grateful and very happy uh, to be here and enjoy with you these uh, uh, special moments in the liturgy, in the uh, life of the church. Every year we celebrate the mystery of the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And today is the Good Friday, the day where we remember the death, the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ. I see that in your lecture mythology, the mighty Himalaya is the symbol of heaven, the symbol of uh, divinity, the symbol where the souls after death go uh, and stay. As we believe in paradise, in the lecture, lecture uh, mythology, Himalaya is like the paradise. And uh, I noticed coming to your parish that you built a grotto to the Blessed Virgin Mary where there is Himalaya, there is the Blessed Virgin Mary, and there is the water coming to us. And like in your environment here, you have the mountains, Himalayas, mountains, you have the Pisca uh, River bringing water to all the country, not only for city, but also for all other people in India. And this is very symbolic, very meaningful, because in the mighty Himalaya we represent the power of God, the mercy of God, the love of God. And from this mighty, uh, almighty God comes the life of God comes to us the mercy of God, comes to us also the joy to be with God. And this water is something also that is concerning our heart. We receive from the cross of Jesus Christ, we receive from this mighty uh, Himalaya that is also the cross of Jesus Christ, we receive his forgiveness, his love, his joy also to be the son and daughters of the Father, the Almighty God, united in Jesus Christ. So this day, Good Friday, is a really a meaningful, meaningful, a special day for us, for our faith. Let us celebrate this day with faith, devotion, and love together, united. Recognizing that this ambition comes on you from our Lord Jesus Christ. And with these words, I would like also to bless all of you. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So see you later for the service uh, of Matthew o'clock. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you so much.
आजको यो नुनसी भिजिट को भिडियोला म यही राख्न चाहन्छु अनि अहिलेको अहिलेको कार्य अहिलेको कार्यक्रम चाहिँ अन्त भएको छ अनि आज गुड फ्राइडे को क्रुसको बाटोको सर्भिस चाहिँ भरे दुई बजी हुनेछ अनि अहिले चाहिँ बाह्र बजिसकेको छ है अनि दुई घन्टाको टाइम हामीलाई दुई घन्टाको चाहिँ हाम्रो टाइम हाम्रोमा टाइम छ अनि अहिले चाहिँ म घर जानेछु अनि अलिक रेस्ट गर्नेछु है अनि जुन यो लुगाहरू लगाएको छु यो पनि चेन्ज गरेर चाहिँ भरे क्रुसको बाटोमा भाग लिनुको लागि फेरि आउनेछु अनि आजको लागि यो भिडियोलाई म यही अन्त गर्न चाहन्छु अहिलेसम्म तपाईँले हेरिदिनु भयो थ्याङ्क यू सो मच फर वाचिङ स्टे सेफ एभ्री वान अनि गुड फ्राइडेको हजुर सम्पूर्णले आशीष पाउने काम नगर्दछु सोसाइटी बाई बाई